up on the stage and screen. But now, Catherine O'Reilly is launching her writing career. The Call the Midwife star's debut play, Scrooge, opens at Battersea Theatre's 503 this week, telling the story of a dysfunctional friendship of two 30-something Londoners. So I'm very pleased to say Catherine joins London Live News this afternoon. Catherine, very good to have you with us. Thank you. Binge drinking, promiscuity, yeah. violence against women, all at the heart of this. What inspired you to write this play? Uh, well, originally it grew out of a poem that I'd written for myself and Eloise Joseph, who's actually in Screwed, and it was about these two girls out on the pool looking for guys, what they want in guys, a bit saucy, a bit crude, and um, I just thought about developing it into a play, and as I developed it into a play, it got darker and darker, and these things just started to come out. And I think subconsciously as well, I'm just so aware constantly of binge drinking, and, you know, Ladek culture and everything that's out there in the media, you know, and it dates back to World War II, Ladek culture, and I just think that must have been in my consciousness somewhere, so it came out in the writing. And how much is this a semi-autobiographical <laughs> piece at all? I, I wouldn't say that was a Ladek at all. <laughs> um, uh, I used to go out clubbing, obviously, when I was younger with my friends and uh, do a bit of drinking, but no, it's just, it's a story about the two girls um, and the situation they're in, that they're in. And touching on, on the issues at the heart of this, but give us a flavour of the storyline. So you've got two girls there, um, Luce and Charlene, they're bone deep soulmates, absolute friends. They work, work together, um, they go out together, they're codependent. Um, they work in a factory and they're, as I say, they've been drinking alcoholics, but they're dependent on alcohol as well, so they're drinking at work. They're going out every night of the week that they can, clubbing, you know, pulling guys and behaving as we know ladders behave um, and it's about friendship it's about addiction um, it's about choices and consequences um, and there's another character in the play called Doris who is Luce's parent who's currently transitioning um, so it's you know very reflective of the, you know modern society that we live in there's another character called Paolo who's a fellow factory worker who's recently been promoted so I'm looking at gender roles within the play as well and I understand that when you wrote this play it was initially with you starring in it as well why did you decide to take a step back well when we did the final reading of the play um, after the reading, because I was helping out and producing the reading and we were making changes to the writing up until the last minute, I was just a bit sort of stunned by it all and I thought it was far too much for me to do and I wanted to step back and enjoy it as a writer and have that experience as a writer. So step back and recast and we got um, Samantha Robinson. And alongside this, you are currently starring in, the, I think I'm right in saying, a view from Islington North. That's it, yeah. How is it to split your time between writing and still acting on the stage and screen? Yeah, it, um, it can be quite difficult, but I think um, it's just about juggling things and, and having, you know, obviously a view from Islington North, it's up and running, we're in our final week, we finish on Saturday, so, you know, that that's all pretty much taken care of. And then um, I've just got a brilliant team around me, unscrewed a brilliant team. Um, Maeve O'Neill is a producer that I'm, I'm working very closely with, um, Sarah Meadows is the director, and we've just got a fantastic team, so anything that I can't do, people pick up, and we just share, you know. And the play is currently on in Battersea, yeah. already sold out for some dates, <laughs> but it's on until, I think I'm right in saying July, isn't it? Yeah, 23rd of July. Fantastic yeah. stuff, well best of luck with it, thanks Thank for you. Tell us about it. You're watching London Live.